Hi friends, so today we're gonna do a vitamin J oracle reading and we will see where this goes. This is my first recorded video as far as doing a card reading. So stay tuned. All right, so first I'm gonna use the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. And we're just gonna pull a couple cards or a few cards to um, get this reading started. Cause I've been feeling a lot of um, feelings of like self-doubt and um, just having a hard time like really just connecting, feeling connected. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you are, um, it might be a lot of you feeling that energy because it's just, it feels so strong. Um, so we're just going to start with the Believe in Yourself deck to help set the stage um, for our reading, okay? Okay, so I like to do three, okay? These are all in the upright position. This is a core pattern we have raindrops take a chance on them spaceship don't be afraid of seeing an escapist come home to yourself so let me channel the overall energy for this So we're gonna start with looking at these cards individually. So the first one we have raindrops, take a chance on them. This is giving me like vibes of taking a leap of faith of something. Um, building trust with others or somebody um, I don't know if it's like a person, like one person you're connecting to or others, just period. Um, but this is telling you to kind of get out of your mold and take a chance on something or someone. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. So maybe you've been called to speak up about something, maybe with this person. So speaking up, possibly speaking up about something. And then we got come home to yourself. So with it saying this escapist energy, I'm kind of getting a vibe of um, possibly some kind of addictions to where you, um, and it may not, it, it, it may not necessarily have to be an addiction, but, um, it's just the kind of vibe that I get from it. Like maybe that's like a, it's not that strong of a vibe. So it might not be an addiction, but maybe something that, um, you feel like you have to rely on in order to um, to feel at home, at peace about something, or um, just to even enjoy yourself. Um, this is telling you to come home to yourself, basically letting you know that you don't really need. Um, you don't need what it is that you're using to escape for you to 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 feel what it is that you're seeking the the emotions or the feelings that you're seeking mm. and look at that right up under that card is it says gold you don't need someone else to fix you so maybe 
with that escapist energy, it's like because I'm looking at with this raindrops card too, with you taking this chance on somebody. So maybe you usually have this sort of codependent energy where um you feel like you need somebody to make you feel whole but this is telling you to come home to yourself you don't need you don't need somebody to make you feel whole you're already whole as a person so even when you come in together um with somebody else these need to be two holes two whole people like feeling whole within themselves um in order to come together You don't need someone else to fix you. First of all, you're not broken. All right, spaceship. Don't be afraid to fail. You already have all the. Oh wow. You already have all the answers you seek. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm getting two different scenarios here because firstly, we see where you're needing to take a chance on somebody. So maybe something different, something normally out of your scope. Um, but the next card we get under that is shark. Swim away from this situation. So for some people, this might be something that this, this is a situation you can take on. But of course, like I said, you need to be feeling whole within yourself because you don't need somebody else to complete you. So don't ever feel like you have to be with somebody or you need to be with somebody um, to make you feel whole. You need to be whole within yourself um, first. So love yourself before you can love somebody else. That's the saying, something like that. Because um, here in another situation, I'm seeing... Uh, masculine and a feminine energy and it's saying swimming away from swim away from this person because um swim away from this situation because it, it, it might even prove dangerous because you see here um she is a mermaid and maybe she sees him as oh he's somebody like me because we both have a tail we both live underwater um, just having really a lot in common with this person but as you can see they are not the same they are definitely not the same. And she looks like she's kind of cautious. So maybe you even, um, whoever needs to see this, you know the situation. You know you know the situation that you need to swim away from. You know the difference between something you need to, you it's okay to move toward. And you know those situations that you need to run away from. So I think that's like two different messages here. So maybe there's even like a new person and then like a past, a past person that's um, coming up who's proving themselves that they're no good for you. Like I said, you know, and you having to handle this situation with caution, like just, just leave, walk away, walk away from the situation because it's, it's not going to do you any good. But it says here, um, with the taking chance on them, there's maybe there's another situation here, um, for you, maybe somebody new coming into your life, whether this is a friend or a romantic partner, maybe even, um, someone outside of the scope that you're normally with. Like maybe you can be experimenting with um, the types of people that you're dating now or just what you're opening your heart up to. So just knowing the difference on what you need to, um, what's okay for you to move forward with. And you'll know because you can feel it. Um, sometimes we know when something isn't right for us and we ignore it. And then um, we ignore that, that those feelings that we have deep inside. And then we end up feeling um, basically like it's like you're you're really intuitive. You can you 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 know certain things and then you ignore it, and then the outcome is always something like negative or something with that person or those kind of situations that you know inside you should have ran away from but you didn't. So it's like you have um, here we are here with the don't be afraid to sing. 
you have all the answers. So maybe even speaking up about something, um, possibly even this situation that you need to run away from. Don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to sing. You see this girl, these, these three girls here, you're supported. They're holding hands. They're supported. So you're not in this alone. And it's okay to talk to others about your situation or just not even being afraid, period. So calling in your soul tribe, um, even so, and it says voyage, you have all the answers. So you know everything you need to know, but sometimes you need to speak about it with other people too, just to, because sometimes you feel like you're crazy or something, or um, maybe you're just overthinking things or whatever. So speak to your soul tribe, but it's also telling you here that even um you know all that you need to know so maybe if you need that you 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 really don't need that reassurance um but it's okay to to seek that and to speak 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 your truth and then what we had with the escape is come home to yourself in gold you don't need someone else to fix you you're not broken and Having that person in your life or around you is causing you more trouble than it is not. So it's time to start making better decisions for yourself, whether you're needing to be alone or some of you have that new that new energy that has come in, whether this is another person or a new energy that's within you, follow that. Follow your intuition. It will, it, it will never lead you wrong. Um but it's time to let this, this particular energy go. I am going to use my Modern Witch Tarot deck to go deeper into whatever is happening. Let me cut this off. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you got to breathe through stuff just to let go of it. Breathe through it and let go of it. Breathe through and let go. Open yourself up to it. I just saw the higher offense. I know. Maybe you're needing to listen to like some elders or um, somebody who's been through what you've been through before. Even that could be yourself. You could be the higher fan here. You've been through this. Like, even with this person, um, some of you, like, this person has been around for a long time. And they've only proven, they, they've proven you, your intuition, right, every single time. You always know this person is no good for you, that they're doing wrong, that um, they just they just don't benefit you in some kind of way. Yet, some for some reason, you keep coming back. It's like a, um, a dependency, this attachment. So, that's where I got that energy from in this card with the escapist card i said i felt something about addiction so um possibly like a codependent type of situation with this person you don't need that person you do not need that person okay this could even be like even looking at these 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 two cards together maybe you're thinking about the good times that you had with that person and that's what keeps bringing you back to them but you know this person is a shark you need to swim away Swim away. This person has proven themselves over and over again, and it's like it's in their nature. A shark is going to be a shark. You know it's a shark. You identified it as a shark, and they're acting like a shark. You need to get away from that shark before you get eaten, and not in a good way, okay? So that's what I'm saying. You got all the answers you need. It's time to move forward. And it's okay to be alone. Even when you're alone, you're not really alone. You have love surrounded all around you. It's, it's, it's there. They've been there. 
even before this person came along and some people came in when even even during this time or whatever but you you know what and what isn't right for you i don't even i don't know all your whole situation but i can tell you that um at least in this sense it's time to walk away and trust me baby i'm there too I finally walked away from a situation myself that I've been holding on to and I kind of had that codependency um, with this person and they just, time and time again, they just disappointed me and I end up being the one feeling hurt and guess what, that person's still going to live their life. They're going to keep living their life. They're going to keep doing what they're doing. Nothing changed. It's in their nature. They, they It just don't change. It's faded. It's faded. You need to walk away to get out this situation. It's time for a new journey. If you haven't, if you haven't gotten that new love in your life yet, or that new person that came along, maybe it's that time to be alone and work on yourself. This is coming, but you don't, you don't deserve this anymore. Not that shark energy. You don't deserve that no more. You never deserved it. We just gonna uh, um, get some cards of tarot. I think one already flipped. They got the nine of wands. It's in reverse, but um, sometimes I don't know if I need to take it in reverse or not. Depends on how I feel. So with nine of wands, I usually um, get like an energy of letting your guards down. But by this thing being in reverse, it's like it's time to put your guard back up with that particular person. Mm-hmm. 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 That's the energy I always get with that card. So we're going to take it in the upright position. I usually take all my cards in the upright position, but... Um, ever so rarely it's like um, okay oh okay okay so okay so I am going to go ahead and um, put recognition on the nine of wands in reverse um, because in the reverse, this, there's a, um, it's like, sorry y'all, my camera don't cut out, but yes. Yeah, so with this nine of wands card, it's like looking at it with the, with these two cards with the the raindrops and the shark card with you needing to walk away from this person it's time to put your guard back up you don't put your you don't let your guard down for this person you see how this person is they have um they have their ones up and it, it's like in a, the form of a gate and they're kind of like stepping forward and holding this one at the same time by you holding this one it's like stepping into your personal power and finally um, going in defense mode when it comes to this person. It's time to take this chance and walk away from them because you know they've proven to to not um, be who you who you thought they were or who you wanted them to be. So it's time to put your put your defenses back in order when it comes to this person because they don't deserve you or to be around you or in your energy. Um, we got the Ten of Pentacles here with the Spaceship card and Voyage. It says, don't be afraid to sing and you have all the answers. So first of all, Ten of Pentacles, that's always some kind of money. That's like your coin. So um, 
Maybe this person is keeping you from your coins. So you walking away from this person is probably is what's going to help you get to your coins. But you see with this voyage, she's traveling. She has all the answers. Maybe this person was costing you money. All they do is take, 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 take. They just cost you money. This is what's coming in for you by you letting this person go. Your coins are coming in. Even probably some coins you didn't even know you was going to be getting because the universe is beside you. <sighs> this person was holding you back from your coins and then even with her holding this map it's like she's going on a treasure hunt or something like it's time to it's time to start getting your money it's time to get your money to cut this person off and get your money And then right here with the escapist, um, come home to yourself and gold. You don't need someone to fix you. We have clarifying that, the eight of cups. So finally saying goodbye. You see this person is walking away. You don't offer all your cups. You don't offer all your cups to this person. And they, it just. They weren't filling your cup. You weren't getting nothing out of it. All this, like I said, all this person does is take, 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 and they never get back. And then with the cups, there's usually some kind of emotions. So it looks like you're finally walking away from it. You, it's, it's time to get back to you. Work, focus on you. You didn't need that person, and get your coins. Get your coins, okay? Let's clarify this amount of wands. Y'all, trust me, I've been in this same energy. Like, I'm working on my coins now. I finally walked away from someone who, um, finally walked away from somebody who all they did was take 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 from me mentally emotionally financially even physically honey and um so glad i walked away i'm so glad i walked away and the journey is not easy you guys it's not easy it, it, it can be difficult sometimes but you already know you're equipped with all the the knowledge that you need to know about this person that it's no good and they're not going to change it's been so long and they still haven't changed it's time to walk away they're the problem not you okay and this person is blocking you from getting your coin so hmm Okay, so we got clarifying the nine of wands. We got the two of pentacles, which is like a juggling, balancing um, energy. So with this, if I've been the two of pentacles, like I said, it's like, it's like you juggling your because this person is blocking you from your money. It's like you juggling your funds between the two of you trying to make trying to make trying to make their life better because this person has been a shark, always has been a shark, and even been a shark towards you. But you maybe you thought you could change this person, and then you start balancing everything and juggling between them, and or even juggling, juggling your defenses against them. Like, should I do this for him or should I not? Should I be there for him? Should I not? This person don't care about you. They are shark. You got to start juggling your pinnacles with this with this person because they wouldn't do the same for you. Put your guard back up. They wouldn't do the same for you. All this person does is take, like I said. All they do is take. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Queen of Cups. Mm. Okay. So the Queen of Cups is like she's the queen of emotions. Um, she's 
She's like the, yeah, it's like the queen of emotions. It's this like nurturing energy. And um, this even is, is, is a time, like, it's, like I said, you have all the answers. Um, and don't be afraid to sing. So probably it might even be a time to share your voice about your experience about something. Finally speaking up about something. Maybe needing to talk to other people about um, what's going on or what's been going on. or And then with your Ten of Pentacles here. It's like, it's time to tend to yourself and your child. Because even right there, maybe some of you have a kid. Um, You got a baby right here. It's time to tend to yourself and your child. Time to time to put this, this how you share your emotions. Because some people share their emotions through giving. And right here, I'm kind of seeing that with this juggling of the pentacles. You might not have it like that, but you, 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 you it's like you're giving equal balance to this person and they probably just taking all your money. You, 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 you see it, you find yourself not getting anywhere financially because of them. Um, cause you're always, it's like, they always coming in with problems and you always feeling like you have to solve them and you haven't even solved your, your, your own. So it's time to, it's like, you, you got all the answers that you need. It's time to move forward and get your coins. You're gonna have to cut this person off so you can make your money because this was truly holding you back. So it's time to tend to yourself. The queen of cups. It's time to follow your heart. Even, you know, we got the map on here. It's time to follow your heart and keep moving forward because you know on the other side is a lot of abundance. There's a lot of abundance here and taking care of those truly closest to you. Those who are really meant to be there will be there. But you got to let this person go. Okay, and then clarifying the Eight of Cups, we have temperance. So let me look at this. So with those cards here, with the escapist card and the gold card, it's like you're coming back to yourself, this temperance. So instead of juggling, juggling and trying to get back in balance, um, with this other person and trying to make things work. Um, it's kind of like a one-sided situation. It's like you're you're ha you're walking away from this and then getting back into balance with yourself with this temperance. So um, basically having to, I just dropped my card, but with the, with the Eight of Cups, was it the Eight of Cups we had? Yeah, with the Eight of Cups um, and that walking away, it's like you, you offered so many cups to them, this person, so much to them. You, you giving so much of yourself away to them. And it's like um, a lot of times we find ourselves being trapped in those. Oh, it's coming together. It's like we find ourselves being trapped in those situations with people because sometimes we get stuck on how much time has passed, how much time we spent on this person and you don't want to let that go. But now with that Eight of Cups, it's time to let it go and walk away from it. And it's time to get back, back into balance with the life that you're supposed to have, the life you truly deserve. And it's going to take some temperance, some it, it, as in it takes some adjusting. It's an adjustment, but it's something you can totally do. And you know what's on the other side of it. And it's your pinnacles. You're going to get your coins. Your life is going to be coming together full circle. At least financially here, I'm definitely seeing that. And then with the cups, it's like you're pouring back into yourself. You see how she's um, she she's holding both of those cups and she's pouring between the two. So she's doing that for herself. She even got her foot dipped in the water. So it's like one foot on land and one foot in the water. So it's like... Even learning yourself or learning where you truly want to be. But using all the answers that you already know going forward. It's time to create the the, the life. Because it's, it's kind of like an alchemy to that as well. It's like creating the life that um, what you want. And creating, creating the life that you're supposed to have without this person doing it on your own. You didn't need that person to to get to the destination that you're trying to um get to especially when it comes to your money and your happiness that person is not for you and maybe they just not meant to be there they got their own stuff to work out okay 
So it's time to get back in the balance with yourself with that temperance card and to just go with the flow of what's to come for you, okay? Um, let's see, anything else Spirit wants us to know today? Any more messages from Spirit? Oh. I got the Queen of Swords. Mm. Queen of Swords has strong log logic and reasoning. So using what you have to move forward, you like we said, you already know all the answers. Um, and she has her sword, so she's she's ready for to defend herself. Um, so it's like now instead of using your heart to move forward um so much, because maybe you you're an empath and you 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 know. Cause right here we got even with the Queen of Cups and your and the, the the pinnacles here, it's like your money is attached to your emotions. So wherever your emotions are, that's where your money is. Oh wow! So it's like it's time to use logic and reasoning now. It's time to use your head, head over heart, head over heart. It's time to use your head at this at, at this time too, as when it comes to um those um. When it comes to this, and then so next we get the hang one, the hang one. <sighs> okay. So this hang one, it's like you're in a, 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 a suspended moment where. You feel suspended like you can't let go, but you also been enlightened right now because it's like, even though you like, you kind of, maybe you're like trapped in this um, position where um, you still just feel kind of stuck on whether you can, you, you should stay or should you go. Maybe this person has, um, literally some kind of hold on you because i'm that's that's what i'm first looking at is that 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 thing around that ankle is like something hold on they got a hold on you in some kind of way but it's like you're enlightened here as well you know better you know what's on the other side of that so even if maybe you waiting on this person to get their stuff together because they 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 finally owe you and when they you know, you, you've invested so much into this person because even with the Eight of Cups, you invested so much into them. And we know your emotions could even be tied to your money. So you invested so much in this person and you ready for your take back. It's just like you got to hold. You feel like you got to hold. You got to stay here because if you leave, you won't you won't get it. Honey, they the ones that's blocking you from getting your coins. You gonna have to let this person go because with this this being a shark, I really don't see it in the energy for them to to really pay you back for all that you've done. If anything, it's like those situations where you know, like a lot of times we hear about people who just finally come into their finally come into themselves and um. You know, they, they got there by stepping on the backs of other people and then they turn around and not not help those people back or give thanks or whatnot. You got to walk away from this because if you're expecting it, you're not going to get it and you're just going to end up feeling even more disappointed and stuck. So it's like you're enlightened here. Though you feel stuck, you're enlightened here. You know what you need to do. You got to walk away from this. It's time to use your logic. Using your logic, and then we got right here the seven of ones. This is my walking away card. I always see this as walking away. It's finally time to walk away. Getting out of this stuck energy. So let me see if y'all see what I'm seeing here. Got the queen of swords right here using that logic. It's like using that logic of what you know here with the intuition. Even in this place where you feel stuck, you still have your intuition. You know what you're supposed to do. Stop waiting on this person. It's time to walk away. Pick your battles. She got all them swords in her hand. She got she got enough stuff she's fighting for in this life. She got enough stuff she's fighting for. Why are you still stuck? Uh, right here stuck. And then they, these, these, these things are wedged into the ground. You really going to pick that battle? 
you gonna have to put you and then the fact that you're gonna have to put your swords down just to tend to those pick your battles and walk away pick your battles and walk away you already got enough weapons farmed against you baby like it's time to to nurture yourself and put back into yourself hi friends i just want to come in and let you know that vitamin J is a vitamin that you take as needed. There are essential vitamins for those that need it. Um, you'll be surprised the number of people going through the same situations in life and have no general guidance on how to move forward in those situations. So, so if this is not your message, then maybe this wasn't your vitamin, but perhaps you can share this vitamin with somebody else who does need it. Anyways... Thank you guys for listening, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.